Look at the situation with weddings and marriages in our community today. Look at the circumstances with weddings, marriages. Ridiculous. There are weddings, wedding parties that are thrown, that are put together, that are in the six figures today. People spending six figures, dropping six figures for a four hour event where you don't even personally know most of the people. And they're probably going to talk bad about you and your food after they leave. Like, man, the roti was kind of cold. They put the raita at the beginning of the line. Who puts raita and the biryani on top of the raita? They're bad mouthing you. They're making fun of you. You pay $200 a seat. Because you had to have your wedding in the super duper intercontinental intergalactic hotel. Right? It's got, it's got a launch pad on top where a spaceship can land. Just in case if any Martians wanted to come to your wedding. We have relatives there too, you know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's the wedding. I, I'm not lying to you. I wish I was lying. I wish I was joking. I've been invited to an aqiqah. The birth of a child, the feast at the birth of a child that costs like upwards of 40, 50 grand. What are we doing? Are people starving and dying in this world? We're starting off a life. We're starting off a relationship in debt. You know, the Prophet ﷺ said that the best of marriages, the best of weddings, the ones that are the most blessed, are the ones that have the least amount of these type of extravagant expenses made. You know, the Prophet ﷺ, Walima, the feast for after the wedding is a sunnah, a great sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. But you know what the Prophet ﷺ told us? He said, Bi's al Walima. He said, the worst Walima is the one where there is no place for poor people. Subhanallah. Think about our occasions now. We want to invite the cream of the crop. We want celebrities there. We want famous people there. That's who we want at our occasions, at our parties. And the Prophet ﷺ is saying, that's the worst possible way to celebrate. You didn't make place for the ummah? What's your, what, what, what were you ashamed of? What were you embarrassed of? Poor people? Abu Huraira was a poor man. Homeless people, Abu Huraira slept outside the masjid. You were, afraid, you were embarrassed of like lower class people, labor class people. Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anhu was born into slavery. You were embarrassed of having like some outsider there that's not related, Salman al-Farisi. And yet, what happened? Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu was the best student of the Prophet ﷺ. Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anhu was the mu'adhin, the right-hand man of the Prophet ﷺ. Salman al-Farisi, the Prophet ﷺ says, Salmanu minna al bayt. Your family, brother, come on in. Bring it in for a hug. Your family, we don't, we don't shake hands, we hug. So we really have to think about how we're spending money. I mean, our problems right now are multi-layered. But the solution is within reach. The solution is within reach. Very simple basic line. Allah told us, Kulu washrabu wa la tusrifu. Eat and drink, live life. I ain't telling you not to live life. Kulu washrabu, eat and drink, live life. Wa la tusrifu. Just don't cross that line. Why? Inna Allah la yuhibbul musrifeen. Allah doesn't love people who cross that line. Inna al-mubathirina kanu ikhwana shayateen. People who spend without need are the brothers of shaitan. And finally, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us, if you keep playing this game of trying to one-up one another, this has ruined you, this has made you useless. Take a look at where you're going and see what you've prepared for where you're going. And it'll be a real wake-up call. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all the ability to live within our means.